Good evening, everybody. Welcome to our annual Independence Day webinar. Today we have a, a very special guest with us, uh, who is a stalwart of the Indian IT industry. He is a award-winning, uh, you know, IPR enthusiast, uh, Professor Ganesh Hingmire. He uh, has won two national awards by the government of India in uh, in the field of IPR, and he has filed more than seventy-five geographical indications uh, from more than six states. And he's going to take you through the story of geographical indications. You know how they are super important, and how they can help in boosting local trade as well as how they can uh, help in developing of re of regions so feel free to ask questions in the chat uh, from sir and now i'll bring sir on stage uh, for you to uh, take through the session uh, sir welcome to you know the live stream really really welcome and sir the stage is yours sir absolutely Namaste. Uh, I must say thank to Rahul ji. I hope, am I audible, Rahul ji? Uh, yes, sir. It's perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Am I audible? Uh, yes. Yes, yes. It's fine. Yes. Uh, so now uh, I must say thanks to Rahul and their team and uh, uh, particularly uh, uh, <clears throat> on on this subject where uh, you will find that is unfortunately untapped intellectual property right we we all know intellectual property right famous patent copyright trademark uh, but unfortunately uh, very important but uh, mostly neglected intellectual property right we can call it as a geographical indication uh, <clears throat> we enacted uh, law pertaining to the geographical indication and uh, uh, but very few registration so far we have done on geographical indication basically geographical indication is communities intellectual property right and uh, let me share you uh, my presentations and then we will uh, uh, go one by one so uh, first of all i'm <clears throat> i wish you all a very uh, happy independence day in advance and uh, we are celebrating uh, from our side Ajadi Ka Amrut Motso with uh, Indian GI, uh, uh, GI K Sun. Before that, before I move to the, my, uh, my next uh, uh, information or slide, I would like to inform you that there is a good, in, good initiative to, to get the uh, platform for the GI. Particularly, you will find many news on ONDC. That is uh, where you will find the government is intent to give the platform for the uh, geographical indication. So indirectly, the government uh, 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 started giving a support to the various GI. So they, the, the unique product from India shall be available uh, in the market. And uh, so far, 250 cities they have uh, acquired. And then you will find the, the, the government of India is planned for 100, 1,000 cities. Now, let me come to the geographical indication directly. As I mentioned in the beginning, uh, uh, patent is an intellectual property. Copyright is an intellectual property. Unlike this intellectual property, geographical indication, that is community's intellectual property and can be granted for three types of products. Those are number one, agriculture product. Second, natural products. And the third one is a manufactured products. Let me give one by one example. First, agriculture products. So, GI is a community, right? We understood community includes your farming community, your waivers, or your artisans. So, they are entitled to get the reward in the form of intellectual property right registration in uh, it, what we can say in the form of GI registration. So, uh, how agriculture goods can get the uh, intellectual property right? as a GI. First of all, uh, this agriculture goods, you will find there are five elements are important. Number one, soil. Number two, water. Number three, uh, nat uh, natural resources. Number four, environment. And number five is a skill, human skill. So when you have these five elements in your place, then you can get the GI registration. For an example, Darjeeling tea. You will find soil for the Darjeeling is different. 
at the foothills of the Himalaya, in particular the side of the Himalaya. Then rainfall, particularly at hill station, you will find that uh, a different type of rain, rainfall is there. The third one is environment, that Darjeeling environment enjoys speciality. Fourth one is the natural resources, which comes from the Himalayan side. And the fifth one, the local people, the farming community, the agricultural community, they develop uh, uh, the product, nice product. They found this most suitable place to, to produce the tea, and that was the Darjeeling tea. So in short, when you have unique agricultural product in your place, you can get a community's intellectual property called geographical indication. That is an intellectual property. Why we, why we called it as intellectual property? Because we, our forefathers used their brain to create unique product from, from that particular place. Indirectly, we can say that geographical indication is our forefathers patent. So there are n number of agriculture, agriculture GIs. Number one, what I say, Darjeeling. We registered the Darjeeling the first. Immediately when we incorporated our GI Act in India in 2002 and in 2003, the Darjeeling tea was registered. So first GI was registered was an agriculture GI and it was uh, Darjeeling tea. Uh, likewise, there are n number of agriculture GIs you will find now fortunately registered in India, more than 120. Uh, I have had an opportunity to register almost 25% of the India's agriculture GI, including Mahabaleshwar strawberry, Nashi grapes, uh, then Sangli raisin, uh, white or turmeric, all, all these are agricultural products. It may include horticulture, it may include agriculture, it may uh, spices. So there are different further categories you will find are entitled to get registration as an agricultural products. But remember, five elements are essential element to get the geographical indication for the agriculture product. As I repeatedly say, soil, it has to be unique soil. For an example, again, I'm giving you an example of Mahabaleshwar strawberry, where you will find a red laterite soil is there in Mahabaleshwar. Then second element is water. There is a heavy rainfall in uh, Mahabaleshwar. Then third is <coughs> natural resources. There are n number of rivers starts from the Mahabaleshwar, like a Krishna, uh, Venna, etc. The fourth one is a environment that Mahabaleshwar is known as a hill station and can get the uh, uh, special kind of uh, uh, environment and the fifth one is the agriculture community those those are <coughs> those are residing within the Mahabaleshwar uh, vicinity they have started uh, producing Mahabaleshwar strawberry and now we have registered this to Mahabaleshwar strawberry in 2009 so that is a agricultural goods as a GI second uh, about the natural goods uh, in India we can also register indication there are two GI so far registered in India as a natural goods. Number one is Makarana Marvel from Rajasthan. Makarana is a place there in Rajasthan and Marvel is particularly uh, uh, coming from that directly from the earth uh, is, is unique Marvel and in scientific language it is what we can say the, 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 the car calcium carbonate contents are 98.6 percent so that is very high and that, that's why this Makarana Par Marwal is used, uh, even uh, Taj Mahal to build. And then second, also used Victoria Palace there in West Bengal. So in India, there are two natural goods so far registered as a GI. And we had an opportunity to file the third one as a Ganga Jal. We all know Ganga Jal uh, from Gom uh, Gomuk, Go and particularly Gomuk is from Gangotri. That is where you will find a unique Himalayan source as a natural resource. And that's that's the reason that pH level of the Ganga gel is properly maintained and absolutely perfectly balanced what we have the record of 7.18. So that's the reason uh, a uniqueness is there, a speciality is there coming from the natural resources. And hence, you can also register uh, a unique product as a uh, as a natural goods and as a particularly geographical indication and the third category of the uh, uh, gi registration what we have in india is manufactured goods so it may include your handicraft it may include your textile uh, so there are many even in food stock also can be considered as a manufactured goods so here the best example i can quote for the gi uh, for the manufacturing goods are uh, Paitani Sadi, Banarasi Sadi, Chanderi Sadi, Kanchivaram Sadi, 
then go of any is also considered uh, uh, as a manufactured goods uh, 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 and, and registered as a GI. So these all are registered GI under the category of the manufactured goods. The manufactured goods, the essential criteria is either of the process of making that particular unique product need to be carried from that particular place. So that is what the manufacturing part of the GI. So here, the third category is a manufactured goods uh, uh, as a geographical indication. First, we have to understand geographical indication is, is an intellectual property. Second, geographical indication is community's intellectual property, right? The third one is particularly geographical indication is from particular place where the products are originated. And uh, for the community, it may be, as I said, farming community, it may be uh, your weaving community, it may be artisans. So when we have this Kolapuri chapel, the artisans involved in the Kolapuri chapels are uh, uh, entitled to get the uh, GI registration. And when I said weavers, it, as, as I mentioned, it may be Banarasi Sadi or it may be your Kanchiwaram Sadi. Those are entitled and have already received the geographical indication. There is a very important connection you will find with GI is nation building. Because these are communities intellectual property, right? When we say nations are nations are developing or growing or when your community develops. So when you get the when you are giving a platform to the community to recognize their unique product, to recognize their quality product, that quality product will fetch premium and that premium ultimately will <coughs> be helpful to nation building. I have n number of examples of successful GI, which I'm going to share you all. So with this introductory note that GI is unique product, there are three mainly category for the GI. I would like to take you to the uh, global scenario of the geographical indication. So here in China, you will find uh, more than 7,500 uh, GIs are registered. There in Europe, you will find more than 59,000 agriculture, uh, sorry, uh, GIs are registered. Uh, in, in today, there, there is a sale value of 75 billion euros. You can imagine uh, how much generated uh, champagne from the France, then Scotch whiskey from the Scotland. Those are registered GI from the European Union. They, they took these products to the globally and they are collecting the huge amount of foreign exchange and the, those foreign exchange are utilized for the development of their own. So as per the data available, 90% of the champagne produced in the France are exported. The similar case for the Scotch whiskey, more than 70% of the Scotch whiskey produced there in Scotland is exported. So that's why you will find here one fifth of the total sale value of the GI product from the European Union, which is almost 50, 15 billion euros, they have a collection from the uh, foreign collection, foreign exchange collection from the export of geographical indication. So my message to you all here, how GI is helping development in uh, European Union, how GI is utilized as a tool for the nation building there in European Union, a similar can, similar can, Thing can be replicated in India with, uh, with with the GI registration, and that's why we took as a mission in our side. We called our group as a great mission group consultancy. This is good is anyway for great to 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 identify the geographical indication, to register the geographical indication, to take it to the masses, and that's why the first slide we discuss how government also now took initiative to support the community for their GI and taking them to the online through the ONDC. So let me share you some international success stories and then I'll come to the India success story and finally a message to all of us that we need to take geographical indication to the masses to the uh, uh, each and every places where, where they are entitled to get the uh, market for their unique products. So here is the Thailand example of coconut we all know coconut, but what is the speciality of this coconut? This is a soft, thin, fresh, and sweet aroma is there for these Thailand's coconuts, and that uh, coconut is registered as a geographical indication 
and you will find that the Rigidia registration is helping the producers to get the market. Then we have a lot of traditional products. Basically, India is known as a unity, a unity in diversity. We have a lot of unique, uh, special product. Uh, you may be from the Uttarakhand and you go to the Balbitai. You may be from the Madhya Pradesh. You go to the Ratlami Sev. You, go, you may be from the Southern, su southern India. You identify the Bandar Laddu or Tirupati Laddu. Those are traditionally unique product entitled to receive the GI and already received the GI. Likewise, globally also, if these, these are the product registered as a geographical indication and that is again helping the uh, producers to get local as well as domestic market. I have already mentioned in the beginning that GI registration is not only uh, helping the producers for the premium price, but also helping the nation to get the foreign exchange. So here is an example of Switzerland. Uh, their cheese, Switzerland also registered the cheese from their place. And you will find two thirds, more than 65% of their cheese is exported. So foreign exchange that helps the nation with it. Your premium to the community that helps the nation with it. That way, uh, geographical indication is helping for the nation building. Switzerland, you know that they're, it's considered one of the developed and fast, fastest developed countries. So because of such kind of traditional goods which are there in this place. So there's another example uh, 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 from the island of Panis, Pan, Pantelleria, where you can find the geographical indication is being granted to the campus. Here, we also have a number of unique uh, naturally growing product. I'm going to talk about the Kera Dapini. Kera Dapini, the product which we have identified, we also work uh, for the Kera Dapini and we have uh, decided, we, we have already completed the fi uh, procedure for the filing of the geographical indication. The Kera Dapini is a naturally available uh, plant from uh, National, Ma Manas National Park of Bodoland from Assam. Unique. If local people, particularly the the, the uh, tribal people, they are eating Kera Dapini and curing themselves from the small, small diseases like uh, uh, particularly uh, your cold and, and even stomach problem and etc. Et so here, those uh, soils uniqueness automatically comes to the plants naturally and that can be registered as a geographical indication. That is what had happened to the whole world and now happening to the India and that's helped also I think happening to the uh, uh, nation building. So here, uh, I, I would like to come to my uh, own organization mission. We have decided uh, a great mission to protect the intellectual border of India. We we have worked for the six states, including Jammu Kashmir, Ladakh, then Uttarakhand and West Bengal. We have protected that intellectual property. From West Bengal, we have selected uh, honey from the Sundarban and we have applied for the honey, uh, Sundarban honey. Then you come to the uh, Assam, we have identified 21 products. We have worked for the Iri sale, Indi sale, Kira Dapini, Kham and all. I'm going to share that. That's another uh, uh, side of the India's border. And then at Kashmir, we have worked for the Doda mushroom and also recently we have applied for the Himalayan garlic uh, for the geographical indication. At Ladakh side, we work for the Chang, uh, Chang is an alcoholic beverage. Basically, unfortunately, that still uh, alcoholic beverage prepared by the tribal community are banned. But those are medicinally very important and very strong. We also work for the Sur. Sur is uh, uh, an alcoholic beverage, actually uh, uh, a product by the tribal community called uh, Johnsari there in uh, uh, Uttarakhand at 4,000 feet uh, uh, from uh, this um, uh, sea level, you will find this Jansari community is located and Sur uh, is their traditional product. They are collecting the uh, plants from the Himalaya and they are preparing this Sur. We all we got the reference from the uh, Charak Sanita that Sur was in, was in exist, but unfortunately because of the ban of such kind of alcoholic beverage, we could not sell those things in the market. However, we found GI is a route through that, a unique product is can be registered as a G, registered as a quality product, and through that we can take this product to the market. And that that's that's already had happened with the Goa Penny. Goa Penny was registered as a GI, 
Later, government of Goa declared Goa Feni as a heritage drink, and today Goa Goa Feni is officially available in the market. We would like to apply the same strategy for Chang, as I mentioned, from the Ladakh, Maua from the Maharashtra, uh, and then uh, Sur from the Uttarakhand. We have already applied for these unique product, and we would like to take the uh, uh, foreign exchange for this unique product, which are medic medicine very strong, and from particular. Community, so that is where you will find the, uh, the, the overall development uh, would be there. So this community's unique product will be protected. This community's uh, employ the, the the employment will be generated for this community, and then foreign exchange will be there for the uh, nation. So overall development would be there in the nation buildings through the geographical indication. So that is what we have decided to protect the uh, intellectual border of India intellectually, and then uh, we also got the ex excellent. Uh, <coughs> success for our GI application. For an example, when uh, last year we applied for the Doda mushroom from the Kashmir. Doda is a place there in Jammu Kashmir, and then uh, mushroom locally, then that product is known as a Gucci. We have applied for their uh, that uh, that products GI, and we found uh, a huge potential is there for this mushroom. Basically, uh, there are n number of uniqueness naturally coming from the forest of this particular Jammu and Kashmir uh, region and that is a, that is also giving a unique product called Doda Mushroom. When we applied, we got a lot of information partic particularly India is importing uh, mushroom with 2500 rupees per kg and that mushroom is inferior to the Doda Mushroom. So when we applied and Doda Mushroom used to get uh, 500, 700 rupees but after the application various company or uh, an individual got to know that doda mushroom is more superior than the mushroom which we are importing and uh, then companies like an ipc another company started approaching or even government of uh, jnk also decided to give uh, 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 these mushroom to the big big companies with double or triple price so here the price so from 700 to 1500 to 200 uh, 2000 then what we have saved or an exchange again almost for 1 kg 1000 rupees will uh, will be saved so here we are also curbing the import uh, then we are our foreign reserves will remain as it is that is also helping the nation building so indirectly again uh, uh, that geographical indications at border level for the unique product for agricultural product uh, is a very useful found very very useful so that is a protecting union india's agriculture product backward community recently we have worked for the uh, uh, ranya roti and pahile roti you might have not even heard but these are the unique product from vidarbha region of the nagpur that ranya roti is particularly for mahara and other backward communities are preparing since long that is also known as a matka roti on matka this roti in big size is prepared a unique very tasty and and, and use even for non veg as well as uh, for uh, your particularly uh, what we can say uh, even amras ke saath, that is from the mango you can eat this uh, uh, roti from the backward so we work for this we especially work for the tribal products their music their textile their many products you can say we have had an opportunity to work i can mention few of them uh, here in the beginning itself uh, known as a uh, sifang you might have heard this name might have sifang is a is is a basuri basically so basuri we know that normally for as a music instrument and then you will find six holes are there but sifang you will find five and that is to get smooth music to to pleasant music and that is uh, uh, part of their uh, their uh, uh, life of tribal communities which are located at the Bodoland and Assam. So that there you will find such kind of products we have identified. It includes Kham, it could be a Toka. I'm going to talk much on that. So such unique product which are giving you peace, satisfaction, play. Uh, th those can be registered as a GI and we work for that. Unfortunately, we, we, we have got a success for that. So here, uh, this is our contribution, state-wise contribution. 
uh, almost 50 percent uh, registration we did from Maharashtra, then major again from Assam, Jammu Kashmir, West Bengal, and Ladakh. Uh, this is actually communities wise. You will find particularly major contribution from our side uh, for the GI registration is uh, from agricultural uh, product. As I mentioned in the beginning, it includes uh, nasi grapes, mabrishwar strawberry, vaigao turmeric, sangli turmeric, kolapur <coughs> kolapur jaggery, etc., etc. And uh, we also uh, work for the uh, uh, Assam, where we have three categories: one for music instruments, second is for textile, and third is from the food stuff. So that's why uh, this is a contribution. This is how we are. Uh, protecting uh, intellectual borders of India, or we can say protecting intellect, protecting uh, intellectual border by intellectually. So here you will find our products names are there uh, from Kashmir, from uh, <coughs> Uttarakhand, and from Assam. These are the products which we have worked for the geographical indication. This is uh, from Maharashtra where we have worked for the uh, 48 GIs. I uh, I would uh, like to mention our journey begin with the Pune Republic, a headgear from Pune, where I'm located. I'm basically from Pune. So that uh, uh, product we have registered in 2007. I must tell you a, a success story of the Pune Republic. We identified when I be came back to India and started working on the WPO and IPR and more specific on the GI and patent. So when we work for the GI, I, I have identified the product from the my place, very unique product called Pune Republic. You can find it in the center of this map, Pune Republic. When we started working on this, we found n number of references, uh, historical records and scientific records. I must tell you for the GI registration, certain things are mandatory and, and uh, uh, what we can say, uh, uh, very much important evidences. For an example, historical evidences. So when we work for the Pune Republic, we got the evidence from Lokmanya Tilakji's home. There is a home in Pune uh, uh, that Tilak Tilakji used to stay, and that is a Tilakwada. And then there we we got a lot of information about this Pune Republic. So Lokmanya Tilakji, a great freedom fighter, used to wear this Pagri every time. You won't find his single photo without Pune Republic. So just imagine, this is a tribute to the Lokmanya Tilak. Like what I said, Ranya Roti is our tribute to the Bala Sahib, uh, Baba Sahib Ambedkar, sorry. And the uh, Pune Pagri is our tribute to the Lokmanya Tilak Ji Ma. Then uh, there is a Mahadev Ranade, who, who also used to wear this uh, Pagri. Even uh, Gandhi Ji, uh, political guru, uh, uh, Shri Gokhale Ji used to wear this. Pune Republic. So it was a tribute to the freedom fighter who contributed for the India's freedoms, India's independence. It's it was a tribute to uh, them. And un unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, after the registration, we requested to the University of Pune, particularly to replace the convocation hood with the Pune Republic, a unique product from Pune, and particular community what we uh, came to know known as a Pagadban community, that those uh, tying the Pagadis are known as a Pagadban community. And then we requested University of Pune uh, to replace the convocation hood. And recently in 2020, uh, officially, government of Maharashtra and particularly University of Pune replaced convocation hood with the Pune Ri Pagri. So, uh, and so it, that's a great revolution you will find. Uh, uh, happened in Pune, particularly for the geographical indication product called Pune Pagri, a uh, headgear from Pune, which is also known as a symbol of intellectual, symbol of heritage, symbol of wisdom. And you will find in each and every function right now in Pune, uh, people are honoring Pune Pagri to the guest for any program. So that kind of revolution is happened uh, with the headgear in Pune which we have registered as a geographical indication, a unique product from Pune. And we believe that since uh, University of Pune replaced convocation hood with the uh, Pune Pagdi, a huge demand will be there. Recently, Times of India published a story where they have covered uh, that in 2007, 
only nine women were there for the making of the pune republic now 100 100 uh, uh, women are involved in making of the uh, pune republic so that's you need not to go always to the uh, uh, technology there are unique products which are already available in your place you just get it recognized as a geographical indication as an intellectual property and then get uh, you know support to the local community once your community is developed ultimately the nation will develop so that kind of a message is, message is available from uh, a geographical indication unique products we have registered the python python study as well and um, of course now there's another concept called uh, uh, restricting or curbing what we can say uh, uh, duplicacy. Unfortunately, uh, till today, uh, the, the Banarasi Sari, which is available in the market, sometimes people say 70% Banarasi Saris are not original Saris. Then what are the parameters to restrict the duplicacy? The GI is the param parameter to restrict the duplicacy. GI is a parameter to give the right price to the uh, 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 producers. And GI is nothing but the bridge between the producers and the consumer. Consumer will get the original product and producers will, give, will get the premium price for their skill, for their unique creation. And that's how the uh, geographical indication is an important uh, intellectual property right for a nation building. So I have had an opportunity to register the highest GIs in India and how we began. And they, they, here are some examples which I am uh, sharing with you all, I have already covered that Puneri Pagri, Patani Sari, Mahabaleshwar Strawberry. I must tell you the success story of Mahabaleshwar Strawberry, Strawberry from my side. We have registered Mahabaleshwar Strawberry in 2009. Immediately we started promoting that uh, Mahabaleshwar Strawberry. It's, it's a, uh, as I have already mentioned that GI is a quality tag. GI is a platform to create a brand of your unique product. So there, they... Uh, in Mahabaleshwar, we started utilizing that GI as a platform for the brand. And then we introduced a concept called uh, agro-tourism in 2011 in Mahabaleshwar, uh, in Satara. Uh, what we did, it's a very simple uh, funda we introduced that those who wanted to eat strawberry freely, they can come to Mahabaleshwar, eat strawberry freely from the farm and as much as you can. I mean, so if person like me or you, anyone who may go to the Mahabaleshwar, how much we will eat? We will eat maybe 250 grams. But since we are going there, we will stay there two to three days. So that is agro-tourism, employment to the local uh, people uh, would be there. So, and while coming back from the Mahabaleshwar, definitely we will purchase 10, 15, 20 kg for our relatives or our friend. So we, at a perfect model, you will find uh, this marvelous or moth so was introduced after the uh, GI and today uh, minimum five lakhs tourists are visiting marvelous uh, to enjoy the marvelous or strawberry moth so so one can take this success story that uh, uh, marvelous or strawberry GI not only created employment but created big market for uh, uh, particularly uh, to the community, you will find two big industries are now set in, in Mahabaleshwar. One is Mala and another is a Mapro. And they are processing in front of you. The fresh strawberry, they are giving you the juice and they are giving you the jam in front of you. That is a very transparently available to you with just a single class and you can get the fresh product from there. So that way, you can also have the uh, byproduct for your GI product. This has also happened to the Danu Golwar Chiku, which we have registered from the Palgar districts. I'm coming to that. So this way, we work, we work Nashi grapes, and then you'll find uh, turmeric from Vaigao, Kokam. Uh, another aspect I would like to share here you all uh, uh, with respect to this uh, unique intellectual property right called geographical indication. If you fail to protect GI, someone will take it. That is what had happened with our turmeric, and US took the patent then we fought our case to get back that turmeric. You don't know how much we have spent for that. We spent almost 12 crore to fight the case there in US 22 years ago. The money that, that what we are paying as a tax to the government should be utilized for the government. We, we spend that money to fight the case for our own unique product there in the United States. And the, this uh, story did not stop there. Thereafter, the 
the the neem was patented then uh, basmati and i don't know how many of you are aware of the fact that india is fighting the another case of indian watermelon the extraction of that is patented by the chinese there in european union so that's an absolutely wrong so why did it happen because we didn't protect it our product we we have to protect our product we have to record as a unique product and then no one will take and no one is allowed to take because their criteria is criteria for the patent itself would would be uh, missing particularly uh, uh, what we can say uh, the product which is available in public domain cannot be get the patent so here why i am tracing on this point because here i mentioned about the kokum that is a garcilinia indica in scientific i and very unfortunate things that happened to the kokum we have registered the kokum as gi from the konkan region of the maharashtra however when when i was working on this uh, kokum that is uh, locally called as a ratamba uh, we found there is a naturally available medicinal uh, product from this uh, uh, product called hca hydroxy citric acid and that is naturally uh, utilized to reduce your weight but unfortunately the extraction of the hca was patented by again uh, someone there in us so just imagine you have lot of unique product you have lot of medicinal product you have lot of nutritional product you have lot of i mean uh, diversities and your uniqueness in your place but unfortunately uh, that product is not recognized or someone is taking the benefit of your country's unique product so we begin with this mission and fortunately reach at certain level however as mentioned in the beginning china 7500 how much india 120 you uh, european union 59000 how much we have 411 so that shouldn't be happen and hence i think this subject need to be reached even this subject is helping for the nation building but unfortunately not yet reached to the masses and i think i must thank to the rahul ji and their team for such an opportunity to taking this subject to the masses and then we work for the many rises here you will find we work for the <coughs> wada kolam we work for the ambe mor rice we work for the <coughs> bandara chinnor rice so these are the rice which are non basmati aromatic rice we have lot of rice we just know only basmati but there are many unique rice you will find uh, at different parts so for rice i myself work on the maharashtra then we also work for the jowar i don't know how many of you are aware of the fact that united nation declared Uh, uh 2023 as a international military but we have only one gi from india that is a mangalveda mangalveda jar from the solapur we have registered we have also registered the cashew from the mangurla you you will find vitamin c in this mangurla cashew is five times than the oranges so and i think <laughs> unfortunately such kind of information is not yet rich so that is also one way like a geographical indication is uh, uh, uh basically uh, a platform to dis close your unique 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 products your uniqueness and also your history so as i mentioned for the pune ripagri as i mentioned for the patani sari we got the references from the shri krishna era <laughs> from uh, uh, mahabharata so that way you can create and use that so here another these are the our feet from the sasword banana from the jalgaon and chiku there actually uh, after the registration we have received n number of success stories uh, particularly for the banana from the jalgaon when we registered recently you can search on google uh, uh, a small village from the jalgaon known as a uh, particularly a very very small village uh, from the jalgaon they have exported keli banana this banana to european in with 12 crores so that the village name is a tandulwadi you just click on google tandulwadi you, you will find 250 farmers are there they are producing this jalgaon now but because of the gi that london and ua in particularly uh, invited uh, products from this and now uh, particularly you will find uh, this banana is getting the place on that uh, this thing so we also received the success story for the alfonso we also i mean alfonso was a strong but our maratwada kesher kesher mango got place there in ua as well as in uh, london so maratwada is some out drought prone area but this mango is uh, giving a diamond uh, kind of attached to this farmers and and then the we have again recently piyush goel also 
tweeted about Piyush Goyalji, that Minister of Commerce and Industry, tweeted about the fig. We we have unique fig from the Pune near uh, to Pune. There is a place called as a Purandar uh, Saswad that is uh, uh, locally known as uh, this fig. We have registered. Then another natural goods we have registered called as a uh, particularly uh, bid custard apple from the bid districts. And when we work for this bid custard apple, we collected the information from uh, US as well as from uh, UK. And we compared that bid from the US, bid from the UK, and sorry, uh, custard apple from the B, uh, US, custard apple from the UK, and custard apple from the small districts called, uh, from uh, Maharashtra, from bid, we found the TSS, that is a total soluble sugar uh, content at the sweetness. Uh, is more than the sweetness which is available in US as well as UK uh, uh, custard apple. So that's why uh, we we have, we are getting a lot of you know. Hamare paas hi hota hai, but there is a concept called kasturi mrup. Kasturi mrup ke paas kasturi hoti hai uski nabi mein, but we don't know that. Uh, usko pata nahi chalta hai ki wo kahan pe hai. Wo ghumta rehta hai. Vaise hamara GI ka baare mein hai ki hamari unique product ko hi hamari paas mein pata nahi hai. But mere khayal se. वो जीआई रजिस्ट्रेशन के वक्त सामने आ जाती है दैट इज व्हाट माय एक्सपीरियंस हैड हैपन सो हियर इज दैट सक्सेस स्टोरी व्हिच आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर मैंने पहले जो इंटरनेशनल सक्सेस स्टोरी बताई फिर दार्जिलिंग का बताना चाहता हूं दार्जिलिंग रजिस्टर्ड इन 2003 एज अ जियोग्राफिकल इंडिकेशन एंड नाउ यू विल फाइंड मोर देन 60% ऑफ द टोटल प्रोडक्शन इज एक्सपोर्टेड टू द 90 कंट्रीज सो जस्ट इमेजिन हाउ मच फॉरेन एक्सचेंज वी आर गेटिंग we need a foreign exchange and you know all what what is happening with the uh, sri lanka what is happening to the bangladesh and pakistan should not happen so foreign exchange plays an important role in 1991 we hame gold gehna wo girvi rakhna pada and that should not happen to wo wali baatein na ho jaye isliye foreign exchange foreign exchange ka zariya hai geographical indication geographical indication ke madhyam se jaise hum log ye dekho this is a success story you will find it to 2021 6 june 2021 this is published by the government of india we have exported this banana so jalgaon banana i have registered that is our success story what why i i feel happy to share with you all then dhanu golwar chikku we have registered we have registered as a geographical indication from the palgar you 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 will be surprised to know for the first time in india that the the chikku was cultivated there in golwar in 1888 and now you will find this chiku is available whole year the unix i i have mentioned five elements five elements so to get the geographical indication for the agriculture product your soil so soil in dhanu golwar is unique then your particularly water dhanu is a coastal area but not like ratnagiri and uh, uh, your uh, sindhudurg so enjoy pleasant sometimes people say uh, dhanu uh, is is a bank of Uh, 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 of india that's a thailand sometime as an uh, located in india the third of course natural resources calcium rich soil is there so ultimately the chiku from the dal dhanu golwar is rich in calcium and the people started chiku wadis what i said fifth element is uh, lo- uh, farmers so you will find lots of chiku wadis are there so then they have promoted now young generations are involved to convert this perishable product with non perishable their by products so what chiku they have started producing particularly chiku powders chiku chips and one lady gent one gentle lady also uh, invented chiku wine from this chiku so just imagine ki what's what potential of the gi would be and and pe- i am coming with the uh, thought of that replace that n number of you know ba- ba- market mein bazar mein kuch kuch प्रोडक्ट है न्यूट्रिशन बोल के बेचे जाते हैं दूध के साथ खा लो पी लो ऐसे कहा जाते हैं इन ऑफ दैट दी हल्दी का दूध पी लो चीकू के पाउडर का दूध पी लो सीताफल की पाउडर का दूध पी लो जिसको जीआई मिला है वो चीकू का पाउडर हो या सीताफल का पाउडर हो उससे पी लो दैट इज वॉट नीडेड एंड आवर बच्चे अवर नेक्स्ट जनरेशन विल बी स्ट्रॉन्ग इनफ विद दिस आइर मे बी चीकू पाउडर की इसमें से कैल्शियम रिचनेस उनको तो दूध से मिलेगा मिलेगा शुगर शुगर आपकी टी एस एस जिसमें ज्यादा है बीड का उससे भी मिलेगा सो दैट वे यू जस्ट इमेजिन व्हाट द पोटेंशियल इज देयर फॉर द बाय प्रोडक्ट्स ऑफ द ज्योग्राफिकल इंडिकेशन प्रोडक्ट व्हिच आर ऑलरेडी यूनिक एंड दैट्स व्हाई रजिस्टर्ड एज अ क्वालिटी प्रोडक्ट सो आफ्टर दिस ऑफ कोर्स चीकू का अभी एक्सपोर्ट बढ़ रहा है मैंने ऑलरेडी कहा है फॉरेन एक्सचेंज इज रिक्वायर्ड 
मैंने ऑलरेडी कहा कि बायो प्रोडक्ट्स के लिए माध्यम से ही अभी स्टार्टअप इस्टेब्लिश होते जा रहे हैं वहाँ पे गोलवर्ड में एंड दे आर लाइक कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग ग्रेटली फॉर द नेशन बिल्डिंग ऑन दैट मराठवाड़ा मैंगो यू विल फाइंड दिस इज ऑल्सो ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी सेवन लास्ट ईयर का न्यूज है पहली बार ये केशर मैंगो फ्रॉम मराठवाड़ा इज एक्सपोर्टेड बिकॉज ऑफ द जी आई तो ये है जी आई की ताकत जी आई की ताकत है नेशन बिल्डिंग राष्ट्रीय राष्ट्र निर्माण की ताकत होती है ये ये यूनिक प्रोडक्ट में एंड दे आर डूइंग एक्सलेंट I I would be very happy to share this story of tribal products uh, called Nandurbar Nawapur Turda. Nandurbar Nawapur Nandurbar is a place at the border of the Maharashtra and Gujarat. Nawapur is a taluka there in Nandurbar. We have registered this dal. This dal is from the Adivasi, particularly tribal community, and they are producing this dal as an intercrop. Beech me liye jati hai, sadiyo se liye jati hai. महाराणा प्रताप जी की सिस्टर को वहां पे लाया गया उस वक्त जो कम्युनिटी सेटल्ड हुई थी जो लोकली थी उन्होंने ये सब किया एंड देन देर इज अ प्रोसेस आप आई डोंट नो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू मे हैव दिस इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट दैट चक्की चक्की से पीसी गई ये डाल है सो so, ये ये अनपॉलिश डाल बोल के हम लोगों ने बाद में इसको प्लेटफॉर्म निर्माण किया द डाल विच यू मे गेट फ्रॉम द मार्केट इज पॉलिश डाल वॉट पॉलिश करते करते वो 110, 140 डिग्री टेम्परेचर में जाती है तो वो उसकी यूनिकनेस खत्म हो जाती है उसका प्रोटीन खत्म हो जाता है तो ये वाली जो डाल है इंटरक्रॉप है वही की एटमॉस्फेयर में आने वाली डाल है और यहाँ पे चक्की से पीसी जो आदिवासी महिलाएं है वो है सो दिस डाल वी है स्टोरी अबाउट दिस डाल इज कवर्ड बाई इंडिया टूडे एंड अदर्स के उन लोगों को डबल प्राइस मिलना शुरू हुआ ये 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 होती है प्रीमियम प्राइस आज बहुत बुरी सिचुएशन भारत में कई रिसर्च पेपर में आ चुकी है वहाँ पे कहा गया कि देन 74 परसेंट ऑफ द फार्मर आर नॉट विलिंग टू कंटिन्यू विद देयर फार्म एक्टिविटी समझ लेना कि अगर पचहत्तर प्रतिशत मतलब फार्मर्स फार्मिंग करना छोड़ देंगे तो हम लोग खाएंगे क्या और वो नहीं होना चाहिए इसलिए क्या चाहिए उनको प्रीमियम प्राइस प्रीमियम प्राइस फॉर देयर क्वालिटी गुड हम तो देते ही कंज्यूमर दे रही है कंज्यूमर देने के लिए पर्टिकुलरली प्रीमियम प्राइस आप बाजार में जाते हो तो नाइकी का शूज देते हो दो दो तीन तीन हजार रुपया पांच पांच हजार रुपया भी दे सकते हो तो दैट क्वालिटी टैग इज सो आई थिंक दैट क्वालिटी टैग ऑफ द जीआई अगर अच्छी तरह से प्रमोट किया जाए मार्केटिंग किया जाए तो हमारे लिए हमारी कम्युनिटी को प्रीमियम uh, प्राइस मिलेगा और ये जो सेवेंटी जो फार्मर्स छोड़ना चाहते दे विल कम बैक टू इट इज इट है Uh, uh, our Mahabaleshwar strawberry case. I can also uh, mention that success from our end. After the Mahabaleshwar strawberry uh, uh, received the GI, uh, and after the premium price uh, they are getting, particularly 53 families re-migrated in Mahabaleshwar to produce that strawberry. Almost 200 hectare mein strawberry ka cultivation bad gaya, aur 2000 ton ka production bad gaya. Just imagine, hume hamari sankhya bad rahi hai, hume quality product bhi chahiye. हमारे फार्मर्स भी बचनी चाहिए हमारे लिए प्लेटफॉर्म जो यूनिक एग्रीकल्चर का भी चाहिए जो न्यूट्रिशनल हो मेडिसिनल वाला हो वो वाली बातें जीआई के माध्यम से होती है तो ये नेशन बिल्डिंग में डायरेक्टली और इनडायरेक्टली दोनों माध्यम से भी हमारी हेल्थ के लिए भी ये काम करता है जी आई नेशन बिल्डिंग का ये सबसे बढ़िया टूल है सो दिस इज जी आई नाउ लेट मी कम टू द अदर काइंड ऑफ जी आई विच वी है अहिंसा से फ्रॉम द आसाम This is also known as an indie sale. जो uh, आप uh, uh, particularly Assam में Bodoland की तरफ जाओगे तो Bodoland की वहाँ पे पर्टी uh, handlooms की काफी संख्या में महिला involved है. Then particularly women's uh, women weaver are involved. And this silk is also known as an ainsa silk because silk won't it won't kill. This is also known as a silk of millennium. This is silk of poors. so you will th- you will find thousands of uh, uh, women are involved uh, in this uh, ee e- 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 this actually uh, jo uh, word word ee is derived from the assam era era is the particularly caster that has been used so usko leke ye banaya jata hai isliye ee silk ye isko kaha jayega silk of the millennium bhi kehte hain ye काफ़ी हद तक आपको मैंने ये आज जानबूझ के ईरी सिल्क का शर्ट पहना हुआ है 
I, you know, think globally, act individually. आप क्या कर सकते हो वैसे अपने आप को करना चाहिए होगा दिज आर द यूनिकनेस ऑफ दिल वी कैनॉट हमारा एक एक ये फाइल हजार हजार पन्नों का बनता है विदाउट हेल्थ विदाउट एनी साइंटिफिक हेल्थ साइंटिफिक एनालिसिस और साइंटिफिक फाइंडिंग यू वॉन्ट गेट रिकोगशन एज अ जी आई दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दिस सेल इज ऑल्सो नोन एज अ पीसफुल सेल सो रिमेंबर हम लोग दुनिया को शांति का मैसेज देते हैं लेकिन हमारी शांति वाला प्रोडक्ट भी हमें पता नहीं होगा तो मेरे ख्याल से जी आई क्या आपको बता देगा और ये हमारे देश का है हमारे लोगों का है हमारी मिट्टी का है और हमारी देश का मिट्टी का प्रोडक्ट हमें पता ना हो इससे दुर्भाग्यजनक कोई बात नहीं हो सकती है आई थिंक दैट वे वी हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट एंड द लोकल गवर्नमेंट इज ऑल्सो नाउ गिविंग लॉट ऑफ सपोर्ट यू विल फाइंड ऑन एवरी ईयर फर्स्ट मे दे बिगिन दिस पर्टिकुलरली एरी कल्चर डे के नाम से उन्होंने बहुत ही ये शुरुआत की है एंड दैट वे इट्स इट्स गेटिंग लॉट ऑफ attention there is another product called arnai proud of the bodo community we all know her product i mean like we we have a lot of culture hamare yahan desh ka culture bahut hi badhiya hai hum log swagat karte guest we treat as a atithi devo bhava so hum log unko dev mante bhagwan mante waise hi yahan pe bodo log aapko jaise hi aap atithi ban ke aate ho to aapke gale mein arnai dalte that is their welcome aur wo aise स्वागत उनका बढ़िया से होता है देर पर्टिकुलरली आप देखोगे इसकी डिजाइन इसके मोतिफ हंड्रेड्स ऑफ टाइप्स ऑफ मोती पे हाथ से बने हुए वो कहते हैं कि देखो हमारे यहाँ पे हरियाली है देखो हमारे यहाँ पे पहाड़ है और हमारी कल्चर उससे जुड़ी हुई है हम लोगों ने अपने कल्चर को ऐसे बांधा रखा हुआ है आप आओ हमारे कल्चर कल्चर के साथ जुड़ जाओ दैट इज पॉइंट ऑफ फैंटास्टिक मैसेज यूल फाइंड ऑन फ्रॉम दिस प्रोडक्ट सो दिस इज अबाउट आर माई दिस इज अस्कार बेसिकली फ्रॉम द गोड ऑफ वूमन एंड men they exchange that to facilitate particularly felicitate each others different design hai wo apni skill se banayi hui hai wo apna pura skill usme dalte hai haathon se banate hai gun gunte hai usko aur bhi badhiya se attractive bana dete hai that is what we organize uh, this things this is actually a traditional symbol maine kaha ke pune ki pagdi hum logon ne register kiya it was a symbol of intellectual it was a symbol of heritage it was a symbol of uh, wisdom likewise a traditional symbol of bodo from the assam is arnai but um, ami kitne logo ko pata hai hum logo ko pata hona zaruri hai to ji aaye ye pata karke dekha hum log bhi usko apnaye hum log usko banaye jo kalakar hai jo moti bana rahe hain achhi tarah se unko hum log reward de de ye ji aaye ke madhyam se possible hai to this this the another product we work for the doko na do ye hai ye dekhoge aap ye matlab itne saal chalta hai aur haathon se buna hua कब हम लोग अपने आप अपने लोगों को बनाएंगे अपने लोगों को अपलिफ्ट करेंगे तो हमें ही अपने लोगों को अपलिफ्ट करने का स्वदेशी का नारा ये बिफोर इंडिपेंडेंट था आज भी है और ये यूनिक प्रोडक्ट है डोकोना अगेन इज अ ट्रेडिशनल वेयर बेसिकली वो माथा और ये एडवर्स सिचुएशन में अपने आप को बचाने के लिए ये बढ़िया प्रोडक्ट माना जाता है इस इसके लिए भी हम लोग जिया है हमारे यहाँ का यूनिक प्रोडक्ट पर्टिकुलरली दिस इज यू माइट है surprise to know no all these names but we have applied for this job kish i and i don't know matlab aapko kaha keval goa feni ke bare mein pata hai lekin there is a product for from as i mentioned uh, uttarakhand se sur hai ladakh se chhang hai waise assam se ye job kish hai ye left pe dekhoge usko imam kehte hai right pe wo hamara jo rice hai banane ke baad isko preserve karte hai taki ye wali rice se nikli gayi jal वो बनती है जॉब किसी और वो अल्कोहलिक बेवरेज होती है अल्कोहलिक बेवरेज हम लोग उसको अल्कोहलिक बेवरेज करते हैं लेकिन वो मेडिसिनल है इस ये घर घर में बोर्डो की इसमें बनाई जाती है लेकिन दिस वाज बैन बाय द ब्रिटिश एंड माय मेरा एक प्रयास है ये बैन उन वस, उस वक्त उन्होंने दिया लगाया था ब्रिटिश लोगों ने क्योंकि उनको उनकी डिस्टिल वाटर सॉरी उनकी डिस्टिल लीकर लोगों में पहुँचानी थी उनकी शैम्पेन उसकी स्कॉच उसकी लोगों में पहुँचानी थी हमारा यह बैन आज भी है हम लोग उसको उठाना चाहते हैं एंड प्रोडक्टली वी विल रिमूव दैट एंड थ्रू जी आई हम लोगों ने जी आई डाल दिया है और उसके बाद मुझे स्ट्रॉन्गली फील स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड स्ट्रॉन्गली बिलीव दैट इट विल बी रिमूव एंड द जॉब बीसी प्रोडक्ट लाइक जॉब बीसी विच आर यूनिक विच आर मेडिसिन मोर देन से दस तरीके के प्लांट का इस्तेमाल किया जाता है इसमें आपके बनाना के लीव्स देन आपके पाइनएप्पल के लीव्स 
इसके बाद आपका यूनिक काइंड ऑफ राइस जो ऑर्गेनिक वाला है इसका सब मिश्रण करके इसको बनाया जाता है दैट्स व्हाई दिस इज अ यूनिक राइस दैट इज आल्सो नोन एज अ राइस बियर एंड आई थिंक वी नीड टू प्रमोट आवर ओन यूनिक प्रोडक्ट्स और जो शैम्पेन का सक्सेस स्टोरी जो स्कॉट्स विस्की का सक्सेस स्टोरी वो हम लोग अपने यूनिक प्रोडक्ट का सक्सेस स्टोरी बना सकते हैं दैट इज वेयर वी हैव अ पावर ऑफ जी आई दिस इज माई ब्रा जूस माई ब्रा इज अ राइस पर्टिकुलर राइस जो बिडवी मांग इसको स्प्रेड करके इसको पर्टिकुलरली सुखा के इसको उबाल के इसको ट्रांसपेरेंट बियर बनाया जाता है जो बियर है लेकिन ये यूनिक मेडिसिनल वाला है बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली बैन है लेकिन इसको जी आई हम लोग कर रहे हैं इसका एप्लीकेशन हम लोगों ने किया आई फील हैप्पी एंड प्राउड to mention here that this unique products we got an opportunity to register as a gi so this is gaka gaki where you find almost 101 types ke plants ikatta karke isko banaya jata hai ye ye hamari yahan pe khadya sanskriti hai pur culture hai alag alag jagah pe so that is also there for the tribal and you will find the gaka gaki is one of them and uh, considering we have four and half minutes but i'll be very quick to few more uh, pres- uh, present day the slide so here is a khera dapi you will find these are the uh, direct photo hum log wahan pe field work kiye the wahan pe hum log ne liye hue hain ye khera dapi ni naturally aane wala unique uh, plant hai jo uh, manas national park isko manas putra bhi kehte hain ki manas se janma hua ye uh, manas ye le ye, ye manas lake nahi hai ye manas uh, national park hai wahan se aaya hua ye पुत्र है तो उसको मानस पुत्र भी कहा जाता है और वैसे ये वाला यूनिक प्रोडक्ट है जिसका हम लोग जी आई कर रहे हैं ये ये लोकल वहाँ पे डॉक्टर है ही नहीं वो क्या करते हैं कि ये जमा करके रखते हैं और यही खाते हैं यही सर्दियों में यही अपने इसमें से अपने आप को एनर्जेटिक बनाते हैं सो दैट वे दिस इज यूनिक प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम आर ओन लैंड फ्रॉम आवर ओन मदर लैंड दैट इज Unknown to all, and but हमें जरूरत ही नहीं है इसकी इसकी पाउडर बनाया जाए बट ये पर्टिकुलर सीजन में आता है लेकिन थ्री हंड्रेड फैमिली आर डिपेंड ऑन दिस सो इट इज इन फॉरेस्ट ओनली इन पर्टिकुलर एरिया अगर और जमीन से चिपके आता है और वहीं पर आता है सो दैट इज खेरा दैपिनी दिस इज प्रोडक्ट अगेन मैंने कहा शुरू को कि बांसुरी के पाँच छः वोल होते हैं इसकी पाँच है सिफम इसमें एक मधुर संगीत निकल जाता है और उसके पीछे शांति निर्माण होना है बेसिकली संगीत का जो पर्पस है वो अलग पर्पस हमारे यहाँ पे कल्चर संगीत का हिस्ट्री पुरानी है तो भगवान शिव जी के लिए ऐसे कहा जाता है कि अलग अलग इंस्ट्रूमेंट के वो दाता थे और ये रेफरेंस वहाँ पे आदिवासी अपने आप को पर्टिकुलरली शिव जी का ये मानते हैं तो ये सिफम इज पार्ट ऑफ दैट दिस इज अ खाम खाम यू विल फाइंड दिस इज डबल इन साइज और ऐसे कहा जाता है कि I mean, they don't need uh, mic or this things. ये बजाओ, ये बजाने के बाद ऊपर हिमालय में आवाज शिवजी को जाए और that is uh, very important uh, instrument they have since generation. This is not now developed. So our that's why I say GI is our forefathers' patent. I am also working in the patent. We have file and number of patent, but those those patents are for unique product, new product here. our new uh, uh, these products are new not new but these products are uh, traditional products these products are unique product this iski khasiyat hi kuch aur hai hamare four fathers bano logo ne isko jis tarike se banaya hua tha uski kuch baat hi kuch aur thi so these are our uh, unique products so iske liye hum log kar rahe hain i think one and half minutes reh gaya main quickly ab our uh, gmgc jo hum log uh, pune mein sthit hai हम लोगों ने प्रयास किया शुरू आई केम बैक टू इंडिया इन 2002 स्टार्टेड ऑन दिस मिशन एंड देन 2007 वी रजिस्टर्ड द फर्स्ट जी आई रजिस्टर्ड मेनी पेटेंट वी आर रजिस्टर्ड ट्रेडमार्क एज वेल एज हावे वर्क जी ये हमारे मन में था जी नेशन बिल्डिंग के लिए काम करेगा ये हमें पूरा यकीन था एंड सिंस आई रिप्रेजेंटेड इट डब्ल्यू आई नो दैट डब्ल्यू टी ओ गेव बर्थ टू द जी आई इन इंडिया बट हाउ वी कैन यूज दैट जी आई एज अ टूल फॉर दिस सोशल इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ was an important so isili hum logo ne ye mission shuru kiya and then we begin with pune republic and our many youtubes our many kafi jagah pe aap youtube mein bhi jagah jagah pe hum logo ne likha bhi hai ki i have written more than 200 articles begin youtube channels and then many uh, media covered when you click on the google ganesh mere you will get lot of information we are trying to take this subject to the masses and today also our intention is to take this subject to the masses and then this is our real assets of our india this this is our community's intellectual property 
And if you give the platform to the community indirectly, you are giving a platform to the nation. We need to take it to the mark. बाहर हम लोग नीचे आप देखोगे तो डब्ल्यू टी ओ में भी हम लोगों ने डिमांड रखी हुई है कि हमारे यूनिक प्रोडक्ट को परमानेंट प्लेस मिल जाए ग्लोबली सो थिंक ग्लोबली एक्ट इंडिविजुअली ये मैसेज के ऊपर हम लोग जगह जगह पे जा रहे हैं डब्ल्यू टी ओ में पार्टिसिपेट करते हैं एंड वी वेंट टू द आई आई टी वी वेंट टू द इवन आई एस ऑफिसर्स एंड ऑल सो जगह जगह पे जाके हम लोग अपना प्रयास कर रहे हैं कि जोग्राफिकल इंडिकेशन ये हमारा ग्रेट मिशन इसीलिए हमारा ग्रुप का नाम है ग्रेट मिशन ग्रुप कंसल्टेंसी जो गुड इज इन एम ऑफ ग्रेट एंड अभी 20 साल भारत में आने के बाद तेर, तेरह देशों या देशों में घूमना आईआईटी में जगह जगह पे हम लोग प्रयास कर रहे हैं कि जीआई आई पहुँचे और नेशन बिल्डिंग के लिए ये एक टूल बन जाए अपनी कम्युनिटी के लिए एक प्लेटफॉर्म बन जाए अपनी देश के लिए एक बढ़िया सा जिसे कह के सोशो इकोनॉमिक ग्रुप का टोल टूल बन जाए और वी आर इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ गेटिंग इट रिकगनाइज एंड प्रमोट Uh, at a national as well as international level, I think I have finished my one hour. I know that एक आध घंटे में ये GI समझना समझाना थोड़ा सा tough था लेकिन मैंने अपनी तरफ से प्रयास किया और I'll just summarize the things GI is intellectual property, GI is communities intellectual property right? There are three kind of GI can be registered: agriculture GI, natural GI. We have registered, we have applied for the Ganga Jal as a natural. Then there is a third category called Uh, manufactured goods as a GI, where you will find Paitani Sari big for the headgear called uh, uh, particularly Puneri Pagri, and uh, even food stuff can also get the uh, GI recognitions. Like I mentioned about the uh, Ratlami Se Ho, or then we have given the Guapa Guapi ka apko example de diya hai. So uh, with this, uh, I must say thank to uh, Tarni Tarn IP to Mr. Rahul. and you all for your patience hearing thank you very much let us celebrate azadi ka amrut mahotsav with gi ke sang thank you so much sir really really appreciate it it was a mind blowing presentation and to all the audience uh, thank you for your comments we can see how much you liked it and i have showed some of them on the screen uh, i wish you a very happy independence day as india turns 75 uh, a very uh, great evening for you thank you for joining us uh, and we will see you in the next session thanks a lot thanks